Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial here on NoiseJunkies.net. In this special tutorial, we'll take a look at how to create some cool Christmas ball like this. We'll cover some modeling, some texturing and some scene building like reflections and lighting. So the first thing I want to say is to give credit to A.E. Freemar in this tutorial which was my main inspiration. A uh, Christmas ornament tutorial by Ko Murakama, I don't know how to pronounce that. But they also make the project file included and I got some really cool tips for the modeling. They don't cover the texturing or the scene building but they do cover the modeling and that definitely solves some of my questions when I initially thought about the idea. So check this tutorial, it's a great one. It's a written tutorial but it's still amazing. So now in Cinema 4D we'll start working on our scene. So, you can create a file new project. I'm already in a blank project here. And I'll create a sphere to begin with. So I'll just make it a little bit bigger. And the first thing I want to do is to make it editable by click on C or on this icon here. So now that you did that, select the selection tool, which is here. Go on the top view. And you want to select the middle point. But you might you might find it difficult to do that because of the axis. So you can take it off by going to filter and unchecking axis or you can try. You can actually click here, it's gonna make things easier. Select this point, delete and I'll have a blank hole here. So now that we have this hole, we want to select all the points in the edge and you can do that in this view but I think it'll be better if we go to the top view because that way we can see it better. So we'll go on the top view with the selection here We'll select all the points and hold shift while do it so you select all at the same time and you don't lose them. So now that I have all the points selected, you can come back to the perspective view or you can come to the front view and just push this up a little bit like this. So now we have this kind of model and that's exactly what we want. So I'm very basic modeling here and now that you have this, you can just apply a hypernerbs to it by placing this sphere inside the hypernerbs. So now I just want to create the little thing on the top and by that we'll use some splines and the front view. So I'll go to the splines um, bezier and I just want to create some sort of thing here like like a shape like this and it doesn't have to be perfect really it does not so I mean you can adjust depending on what you want but that's fine and now you select lath nerves so once you do it you'll see you create this cool thing here and now you can just scale it down of course by clicking on the lath nerves and you see it kinda it kind of gets also a little bit wider but then you can adjust it and use this view to help you I think that looks okay if we need to change we change it later and that's actually a nice way to make a light bulb but anyways now we'll create an arc and on the end angle we'll set it to 180 so now it's an arc and then we'll select a circle and the sweep nerves and we'll place both circle and arc in the sweep nerves so the sweep nerves work this way you place the circle and any spline inside it and it makes really chubby and really fat so that's why we place the circle and the arc because we want the shape of the arc and to be chubby in circles and then you can click on the circle and make the radius smaller so it's just like this let's see and now you click on the sweep nerves and make it smaller, but like way smaller. Something like this. Try to place it in the center if you can. I think that looks good. Okay, so that that'll do it for us in terms of modeling, and you can definitely adjust this, make it know bigger wider or whatever or just come back to your spline and try to try to work on it 
So now we just group them all together. Apple click and group objects. And once you do, now we have a single object. Now for the material, you want to go to File, Shader, Daniel, or whatever you call it. And really it's automatic, you don't need to change a lot of settings. You can change the speculars, which is, you know, this little tiny light here. But I'll just leave the default, which is all I used initially. And you see, it looks cool. So now create a floor and place it so. So once you have the floor, we'll create the material for the floor. So we'll go to File, New Material, and I'll select the reflection. And I'll set it to 20. And I want to make a quick note here that on my last tutorial, the hospital corridor, uh, the walls were a little bit reflective and Unreal, uh, Daniel Grieger, I think that's his name, uh, he pointed out on the video call pilot forum that I need to work a little bit on the reflections. And I agree with that. I think if you want something realistic, you shouldn't make the brightness up to 20. Uh, or even less, you know, 10% I think would be a good uh, brightness to make things realistic and again nothing should be completely white because very few things in life are completely white so slightly blue you might think oh it doesn't make any difference but it actually does so if that's what you're looking for for realism I think your brightness shouldn't be too bright and you can see it's just a little bit reflective and I don't know I just like to make it you know 20 that's the maximum uh, I think for realism but I just like things to, to be really reflective because I think you know reflective things are very beautiful very glass wise and I don't know about you guys but when I started working on the 3D program one of the things that amazed me the most was how easy it was to create glass and water and those textures so I think I'm still of, very fascinated by those bright things but on any rate we're here to learn and live so this is one of the spheres you can create, and you can create several. But instead, I'll just go to the array and place my null object inside the array. So now I have six instances, and I want the radius to be bigger so they are more spaced out. And I also want only five copies. So now I can just move this a little more to the center here. and move it up so they're not touching the floor then move your perspective a little bit like this something like this you can also make the radius bigger like 600 let's see that sounds reasonable now for the material I want to make uh, an adjustment Instead of using the normal reflection, I want to duplicate the dental material we have and change the color to green. I think that's what I did in the initial project. And then I'll place it to the floor and I'll create a light, not an area light, a light exactly in the middle. And you can use a top view to help you here. Something that's more or less in the middle here. So let's click on Apple R and render the scene to see how it looks like. Looking good. One thing we can adjust is of course the material of the part here. So again, I'll just duplicate the dental material and make it slightly white like this. So you can also change now the specular settings. Like this red, you can make it you know, blue. So it looks a little more chromatic and you can just dig in inside the sweep and left nerves hold C, drag it and now all of them should have the same chromatic material which I think looks a little bit better so that's cool and you can definitely create some nice Christmas animations based on this so, I'll leave it to this point and your creativity should drive the rest. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick tutorial and I'll see you next time on noisejunkies.net. Thanks for watching.